This basically is getting OBS, uh, Open Broadcaster Software, into Zoom. And here's how you do it. You start out with OBS, which is what you're looking at here. And you add to it. a tool that's called the virtual camera and you start that. You st this is the OBS Mac virtual cam. It's linked right there in the middle you can see it. Um, the install is quite for it's straight I think quite straightforward. Just roll down on his GitHub page and you'll see it. Uh, and once that's installed you get this extra uh, tool. Sorry, I cut this off, but this is the tools menu. Uh, and you've got this virtual webcam that you can start and stop. Uh, and that's basically it. Now if you look at the uh, I have to turn some stuff off here, I think. Bet I've got something running. Yeah, I do. So later on, I'm gonna. Th this is the Siphon virtual webcam, which is an additional layer, uh, but that's running right now, and so it's captured this OBS virtual camera out of. So I have to turn that off. So I'm gonna turn that off now. Okay. So this once you've finished the first part of this. Little this little formula, part one, you'll have this additional input in Zoom. Uh, and I think it's there all the time. Uh, I haven't seen it go away. In fact, I'm not sure exactly how to make it go away. So um, this is on your own. So now if you uh, turn that tool on in OBS, uh, there it is. So there is your screen in Zoom. So instead of me, hi, there's me. Uh, if you're a musician and you wanted to put something else up, or if you're doing a video like this, and or a presentation about something like this, and you wanted to share your screen, but you didn't want to take over, you know, sharing screen means you're the only one. But if you're a collaborator, like a musician playing with two or three others, you don't want the whole screen, you just want your little window. This is how you get that done. So that's how that works. And if you turn it off up there, then this is what you will see in Zoom. Remember, this is Zoom. Um, if there's nothing driving that camera. Now, sometimes you want to just use OBS with all of its, you know, scenes and stuff like that so that you can change the way things look. Um, but sometimes you just want to drive it straight out of Siphon. And that's what part two is all about. So down in part two, you add another shim called the Siphon Virtual Webcam. These are confusingly similarly named. I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Uh, if you turn that on, which uh, we do by launching it, Siphon Virtual Webcam, there it goes, there's its little screen, and note that nothing's happening here, and that's because the source, which right now the only Siphon source I have on this computer is EboSuite in Ableton Live. Uh, Siphon's virtual webcam is waiting for that to start. So now we'll go over to, let's get settings out of the way, get Ableton Live in here. Uh, this is a cool video program called EboSuite. It does all kinds of neat video stuff. This is their demo set when you buy it. Uh, this will come with. Right now nothing's happening, but I've put their eSiphon out 
plug-in. They have a whole, Ebo Suite has a boatload of really cool stuff, and um, one of the things is to do a siphon output. You put that. I put it on the master track. I, I'm not sure you need to. It could be on any track, uh, and still, uh, still nothing is going on until we start playing the demo set. And now, uh, for those of you who are familiar with uh, Evo Suite, you know this part. That's now showing up in the Siphon virtual webcam, and. It's also showing up in Zoom. And so there's your screen in Zoom using that. It's either or. If the Siphon virtual webcam is running and uh, you launch OBS, uh, it looks like, you uh, see, there's, there's OBS, right? But this hasn't changed because apparently Siphon virtual webcam wins <laughs> over OBS. I, I don't exactly know about that. But if we shut Siphon virtual webcam down, I'll quit that. And for a minute, now we get the, hey, I don't see anything screen. If we now go to OBS, oh, I quit OBS. No, oh, there's OBS. Okay, where's, o oh, there's OBS. All right, now uh, we need to turn that virtual camera on in OBS. There's OBS. So it's either or. You either get straight out of Siphon or you get it out of OBS, you pick. But in either case, that's going to zoom now instead of the other cameras on your system. That's it. I uh, hope this helps explain my cryptic web post.